So, I d talked to Dr. Kenneth Lacavera about the documentary that's coming up next week, Prehistoric Planet. And he said things like most other people said to me, but at least I do respect on some things he said. However, you know, like, for example, like, he, he told me that there are footprints of theropod at, at lakes. I mean, I do agree that Tyrannosaurus rex may have swim in a lake or a swamp. But when it comes for the oceans, it has to be very careful. And the reason why it has to be careful is because of mosasaurs and sharks, which is a huge problem. Because I'm pretty sure that any, you know, marine animal would love to take a piece out of a, of a land animal that's swimming. Especially a mosasaur, since the mosasaur is an apex predator. So, I wonder how that episode's going to play out. Even though that it's going to be in an ocean, but whatever. I don't care. And the two sort of pods fighting each other. I mean, yes, that it could happen, but 90% of the time, since they're designed, you know, to have shapes, you know, since they're designed to neck wrestle. It does make sense that sauropods do neck wrestle. Maybe they do occasionally do bite each other. I probably doubt it. Since their heads are pretty smaller than a horse. And horses do bite. But that doesn't mean that sauropods bite. Because sauropods kind of have a small head. So we just don't know. Yeah. So, at the end of the day, I guess we'll have to see how Prehistoric Planet plays out. I don't, I don't have Apple TV, but then again, who knows? Maybe someone will review it and then bring up their own personal thoughts. Or how accuracy it is. But I don't know. I'm just not really excited for Prehistoric Planet, to be honest. <laughs>